Dancehall guys, hindi lang siya basta dance style. Dancehall is more on culture. Five elements ng dancehall. So music, place, um, language, people, and then fashion. Dancehall started from the ghettos of the of Jamaica. Basically, uh, people there live very poor and they use dancehall as their way of coping up in their environment, in their lifestyle. So dancehall is like a representation of how they live in, in Jamaica. Way back 80s sa Jamaica, nag-start sila sa reggae music. Reggae beats, actually. Sumasayaw sila sa reggae beats. Pag nasa club sila. So, doon nag-start yung parang nag-create sila ng step and then nag-evolve nang nag-evolve. So, for example, they take a bath or how they cook or how they clean, how they walk. It's like basically the dancehall steps derived from it. We have creators of dancehall steps, but not creator of dancehall. Pinaka naging influential na dancehall leader talaga sa Jamaica is si Bogel, Gerald Levy, yung pangalan niya. Kung alam yung step na na, yung Bogel, na pangalan yung step na yun after him. He technically like started the dancehall steps, which people used to follow whenever they go into dancehall parties. 2015, ang mga dancehall founder dito is si Ate Itan, si Ate Yen, si Miss Patty na half Japanese. And then from there, um, ni start nila yun from clubs like Iris Sunday, Black Market. Doon nag-start yun. 2018, that's where all the classes, all the Jamaican teachers, we flew them out here. A lot of teams use dancehall steps. But not all people knew what dancehall is. So dancehall Manila really tries from 2015, I think, to really push Manila or like Philippines to know about dancehall. First, na fall in love talaga ako sa music na parang sobrang free lang ng katawan ko pag sumasayaw dun. And then, place, kung saan yung music, which is yung Iris Sunday, Block Market, with Dancehall Manila. Sabay-sabay kami nag-grow, um, nag-explore, nag-exchange ng steps, ng vibe. Yun, so music talaga. And then, place, and then third yung people na kasama rin. I really find myself, my true self in dancehall, wherein I can just have fun without the stress that we experience in the competition scene. Whenever I feel burnout uh, from the dances, from the other dances, when I listen to dancehall music and when I dance dancehall, it makes me free. From learning dancehall to sharing it now, ako naman yung nag-share ng knowledge, ng, ng love. Pero yun, feeling ko naging better version ako ng sarili ko. Maybe in the dance industry. This is my bridge to where I am right now. And I'm very thankful to dancehall because I really find myself where I belong to this like dance industry. Actually, gusto ko ma-experience ng mga nag-start, kung paano ako nag-start from music talaga. Like, hindi ako nag-start ng sasayaw mismo. Ang hirap maintindihan ng music kung mag-start ka agad sa dance, pero hindi mo alam yung music na sinasayawan mo. For me, doon mas malalalim yung, yung pagkakaintindi mo sa mismong dancehall. Not just the style itself, but the culture. The most important thing is know its history. You cannot dance the the thing now, okay, without knowing the past. Because dance is just there. You can learn that every day and it will not go up. But the history is really like the eye-opener into the dancehall scene. Like if you really want to, to be deep about dancehall, it will come naturally when you know where it came from.